Okay, for those of you who've seen this on Facebook before, the Pampered Chef Air Fryer, we're going to do pineapple. Seen it posted, and we spared you all the gore and detail on how to cut up a pineapple. Everybody knows how to do that. Well, not everybody, but... And there's your skewer. I actually had to use a mallet, a small little hammer, just to tap it through the core. They're pretty tough. So once you got it through, you put these in. And these are a bugger. I mean, it's these things here. It's just kind of a wacky design. You'll struggle a bit, but eventually you get it. So our next step is to put a little bit of brown sugar and some cinnamon. I should add, before you put the sugar or brown sugar and cinnamon, you got to melt a little bit of butter and put it around the pineapple. So we'll do that and then we'll slam her in the old air fryer. This is, it looked good, the pictures look good. Probably tastes good too. Okay, Kathy's gonna put some melted butter. <laughs> butter makes everything better. And you just continue that. Okay, now we're putting the brown sugar. We use the Splenda. We don't particularly like to use sugar products. You could use whatever you enjoy most. And you continue that. Now we just sprinkle it with some cinnamon. I've never tried this, neither has Kathy, but we seen a picture and we thought, geez, that looks good. Be nice to serve with a couple slices of uh Baked ham, some potatoes, almost like a dessert. I think that's it. Okay, just before we start, these rods, people are having trouble getting them into the slot here. Yeah, they'll go in, but they're not sitting on this side properly you'll actually be able to see it your rod will actually be on a bit of an angle a lot of times you just got to wiggle it so this is what's got to engage the square part not the round part the round part will go in but not the square part until you turn it just correctly so that it goes in that a little bit more so that's something to keep in mind. A lot of people are thinking there's something wrong with it. The rotisserie isn't working, but it's just basically just not in properly. And once you get the hang of it, it goes a lot easier. Okay, we'll get this pineapple in the air fryer. And we'll turn it on for 35 minutes on air fry rotisserie. Okay, we got the pineapple in the air fryer. Notice the rod straight across. It's sitting properly in the cradle. You'll know if you don't have it in all the way here, this won't sit properly. It'll actually be out. That square part will be up on top. You'll actually see the angle. After a while, you pick up on it pretty quick. 
and you'll know when it's in. And like I say, if it's not in, you just turn it. You could just turn it as you're putting it in. And it'll, it'll, you'll feel it go in. Okay, now we'll turn it on. Okay, now there is two ways that you can do this on air fry, which is the highest setting, 400 degrees. You could either turn it to air fry, press once, select your time, 35 minutes, hit start, and hit the rotate button. Now you'll know it's rotating by that symbol. That symbol is showing it's rotating. Okay, I'll just hit cancel and show you the other way. Now the other way is to turn your dial until rotate is lit. Press the button once. Adjust your time, 35 minutes, 400 degrees, it's going to rotate. That symbol shows the element is on, that symbol shows it's rotating. And it's always good, no matter which way you do it, just to check to make sure it's rotating. And it is. Because you don't want your food sitting there, not moving it, it would just... This is basically a broiler. You've only got the element on the top and it circulates the air a little bit and you'll get some heat. But most of your heat is coming from the top and you don't want it just sitting there. You've got to make sure it's rotating. So if it's not rotating, just nine times out of the ten, it's just the rod, not incorrectly. A lot of sugar in this. So might go a little brown and crispy i'm hoping so okay we'll see you in 35 minutes i mean this is ridiculous do you ever smell apple pie when it's cooking that cinnamon smell and the sugar baking caramelizing Man, this is like that, but 10 times as intense. I guess it's because of the sugar. Oh, this is crazy. This is good. Let's open her up, see what we got. Look at this thing. Oh, man, I worked a railway my whole life. Never did I think I'd be cooking a pineapple. And it's smelling so damn good. I really want to dig into this. This worked out pretty good, and I'm sure it's going to taste good. Holy hell. Love it. Look at the steam coming off that. Honest God, people, if you got an air fryer, you got to try this. Holy crap. The smell is intense. Incredible. Now, if you got a different style air fryer, you could cube it, do it the same way, cook it in your air fryer. But who would think cooking a pineapple would smell this good? Okay, we're going to serve this up with some ham, some potatoes, carrots. This is a great dessert. Incredible. So, does pineapple belong on a pizza? Hell no. But it does belong in your air fryer. You got to do this. People, just do this. You'll love it.